and I'm back with my third video of the night. Actually, my fourth, but I had to delete one. Anyway, I'm coming to you tonight with this deodorant. If some of y'all have been watching me for the past couple of years, y'all know I've tried many, many natural deodorants. <laughs> My body is just really sensitive. I cannot use baking soda heavy deodorants. I just cannot. It will break out my underarms. Something terrible. I will get a very bad rash under my arms. So it's very hard for me to find a natural deodorant. Now, I came across this deodorant for myself by mistake. I bought this for my son. He's 12 years old. He doesn't smell, but he started playing basketball and I did kind of smell him, you know, when I would pick him up for basketball practice. So I thought, you know what, he's 12 years old. He'd be 13 in August. You know, it's time for him to have a little deodorant, but I didn't want to start him off with anything that my older sons um, are using. You know what I'm saying? Those are strong. Don't know how his skin would react to it. He still is kind of young. He's only 12. So I wanted to start him off light and then kind of see how it would go if he needed some heavier, if he can stay with this one. So I tried the Schmitz before. Um, I tried the one in the jar and um, I couldn't use it. It broke me out. Most of the time with deodorants that say sensitive they don't work for me i i'll be stinking in in less than five minutes after i put it on that's how quick it wears out because it does not have baking soda in it so for me you know um it's a hard search because like i said if it was sensitive it didn't work like i would have to be reapplying that stuff several times a day um, I do sweat heavily under my arms, especially in the summer here. It can, normal temperatures in the summer here is 110 to 113. I'll be sweating inside my house. So I need a deodorant and I need one that works very well, but I cannot use over the counter. It causes, it has a lot of chemicals in it and it causes pain under my arms. So I had to switch to a natural deodorant, but it's just hard for me to find one. Again, I bought this for my son and I started running out of my deodorant. Now I was using another deodorant that I bought that I buy from my green beauty store, but that deodorant is $30 and you do have it. You only need a little bit, but $30 for a deodorant is very expensive. You do have it for... I want to say about three months. It'll get you about three months. So that's about, what, $10 a month um, because you only need a little bit of it. Um, but I, I wanted to find something that I didn't have to travel an hour and a half to get to and that I could just pick up when I go food shopping. And again, I bought this for my son. And so I started getting low on my deodorant. And I said, I started using his, which was this, the Schmitz uh, Coconut Pineapple. And it's a sensitive skin formula. It smells good. Um, it goes on smooth. And so I started using it. And I think I've been using this now for about three weeks, maybe a month. And I had no adverse reaction. But you know what, y'all? I don't stink even when I sweat. This stuff still be working. I have not broke out. I have not had any pain under my arms. And again, even when I sweat with the $30 deodorant, when I sweat, I can smell myself, you know, kind of. It's, it's a light scent. Sometimes it's a heavier scent depending on how long I've been sweating. But with this, light sweat, heavy sweat, workout sweat. I do not smell myself. I do not smell my armpits. My armpits have not broken out. This is like a miracle because I've been using natural deodorant. 
I want to say for a good four years, maybe longer. And this is the first sensitive deodorant that I was able to use that I did not, that I do not have to reapply. Even after working out, my armpits still smell like coconut pineapple. No funk. I am not lying. I think this deodorant is $7.99. You can find it at Sprouts. You may be able to find it at Whole Foods. But for me, this is going to be it until it turn on me. Prayerfully, it won't. Because I've had deodorants that have turned on me after using them for a month, two months, and then all of a sudden my pits is breaking out or I'm getting pain under my arms. But so far, so good. If you have them same issues under your arms that I do with sensitivity, Schmitz, the sensitive formula. You could get any scent that you want in the sensitive formula. I like sweet, fruity scents. So that's why I went with the coconut pineapple and it smells good. And I just want to show y'all what it looks like. This is what it looks like. It's a solid. It is a solid deodorant. So you might have to rub it in a little bit. But it says no aluminum, no um, propylene, glycol, no artificial fragrance. And I'm not about to read this. Y'all go to the store. Let me see if this goes. There you go. So you got the ingredients right there. That's the ingredients that's that's in this deodorant. And it works. I'm not lying. I had to use this for a couple of weeks before I did a review on it to make sure that I wasn't just tripping. So with that being said, this has been seven minutes. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Let me know if you've used this before. Or if you have trouble with finding a natural deodorant, which you don't want to use is that over-the-counter stuff. My kids, um, I've tried my boys with natural deodorants. They're men that young men that play sports. I think it was one that my oldest son liked, but I always had to order it. But for right now, until they want to make that choice, whether they want to use a natural deodorant and search and find because they are boys that play sports and Lord have mercy, they smell bad after they've had a football and basketball game or even practice. So <laughs> right now, that's not really an option for them because I don't want my boys to walk around smelling stinky, you know, um, all day. But I have tried uh, some natural deodorants and they didn't like it. And damn it, when they get in my car, I don't like it either. Uh, so with that being said, let me know if you tried this. If you do go out and try it, let me know. Drop me a comment. Give me that thumbs up so my videos could continue to be in the feeds. Um, and peace out.